What's going on, Spartans? King here, bringing another Epic Raids episode. I hope you guys are as pumped as I am. We are going to be showing one of my raids that I think is really funny. It's uh, it's only epic because of the amount of Dark Elixir shown here. And a decent amount of regular elixir too. And I use a really cheap army. I use almost entirely goblins here. I think it's about 190 goblins. But I, I hope you guys are enjoying the fact I'm doing 10 minute or longer uh, episodes now. I will still do some short ones. Don't worry if you like short ones. I'm not going to stop doing those. And I also, if you saw, I have a new intro that I wanted your opinion on. So definitely tell me what you think of it in the comments below. And if you like it, I'm going to have a little bit of change. I'm going to have some color added to a couple of the tendrils. There's going to be some green in there. But that should be it for, for now. Um, definitely going to work on that more. Don't know if I'm going to keep it forever. I'm just going to use it for a bit here. Definitely did enjoy the fact that I had a guy make it for me. It was really appreciated. Thank you so much for that, man. Daniel, you're awesome, bro. And let's get to this raid. I only have 50 seconds left. As you can see, I'm wall breaking in. I'm going for the rest of this dark. Just dropping a ton of goblins. And as you can see, I keep looking down at those storages at the bottom. I keep looking at those mines. And there's a whole bunch of mines. I keep wasting all of these goblins here. And I don't even need to. The queen and king probably would have taken out all that dark elixir and everything else there without my help. So I wasted like 30 goblins that didn't need to. I could have taken the golden elixir that was sitting. All that 50,000 in those mines down there just got wasted. Here's some more goblins that aren't needed. Trying to use them for distraction purposes for the queen. But... I just completely spaced out, guys. So I guess even at the best of times, we all make mistakes. That's your lesson learned. I did get 4,500 dark and 700,000 of the 800 and whatever showing. So pretty awesome raid, especially since I used, I think, yep, there it is, 194 goblins and 30 archers. And I almost got 50%. If I had used six goblins at the bottom of that base, I would have got the 50%. So there's your lesson right there. You can win with all goblins pretty much and get a ton of loot. But let's get to this 1.2 million loot raid. MP40 was killing it. He is awesome. He's in my clan. Thanks for showing this raid to me, man. Definitely had to show everyone else because this is awesome. He uses a hog rider right there. Draw out the king and another one to take on this queen here and just draw him out. He's obviously using this because they go really deep in the base. Hog riders are good for that because they do run really fast and they go right for the defenses. So they skip all the, all the extra buildings on the outside and they run right in, which is good for drawing out clan castles and heroes. So, good strategy, wasting one or two for that, and then just letting him go in a double formation here. He's in two lines, and they did split up into three, which is really actually kind of cool. It's really rare to see him do a line, and they're actually holding their line right here. And here's where it start to clump up, but that's still not a bad thing because there's really no strong wizard towers, and there's no room for big bombs. So, it's not a problem. He's not going to hit anything unexpected in this base. This is definitely not an anti-hog base. So definitely an awesome raid here. And he's going to take a ton of loot. As you can see, just killing it. There's over 700,000 elixir showing on this base. And these hogs are just too overpowered. I mean, honestly, if there's no infernos in a base, your hogs are going to wipe it out. But yeah, wow, I keep yawning. Sorry, guys. Just woke up. It is super early. But wanted to make an episode for you guys, and I'll publish it soon. Definitely, definitely tired. So let's get excited here, and let's keep rocking out with these raids, because there are some definite cool ones here. I got a couple people I'm featuring that are pretty cool guys also, just on top of the fact they did awesome raids. I love to feature people, and I'll be doing more of my own raids also, especially for the strategy purposes. And I'll start telling you in some of these some of these upcoming episodes I'll start telling you what people are doing wrong and how they could have gotten more percentage points on a base or how they could have won more loot etc so everyone can learn but of course I'm not talking down about anyone I don't you think that just want to show how anyone can learn from it and do a little better because even in my own raids even when I do super awesome I know there's always something I can do better guys so I definitely don't want you to think that I'm perfect or anyone is. We all make mistakes and it's just better to learn from them and hear what's going on rather than think that everything's just, you know, good enough. That's how you get better is always thinking you did something wrong. Now we're going to move on. Next raid here. Actually, I think it's going to be by Chanster. And it is Chanster by, from Hidden Sanctuary. Good friend. Uh, he's, he was in YouTube all stars. Cool guy. Definitely doing some epic raids. He has another epic raid he sent me that is insane. I cannot wait to show it. I'll put it in the next episode. By the way, guys, if you haven't already, make sure you go over to 
our new collab channel with Matt and Davinic, Landed at Noteworthy Games, Nick of Teach Boom Beach, and BJ Can Dive, and of course Gaming with Malt. We're all working together, all six of us, and we are made a collab channel called The Clash Army, guys. So make sure you go subscribe to it. I'll throw it on screen for you so you can find it. I'll throw it in the description also so you can just click on it and go to the link. So definitely click that link, go subscribe. You can see my last episode of Epic Raids. I put it on there, so I'm going to be switching off putting Epic Raids on my channel and on that one. And all the guys from the Clash Army are going to be posting once a day. So it's going to be, each of us have their own day of the week. I have Saturday, so you can go check me out on for Epic Raids and other things like that every Saturday. And they're definitely going to be really awesome. But they're going to put all their most popular series up too. So it's going to be really, really cool working together. And of course, we're going to have six days a week that are covered with our own own like regular series. And on the seventh day of the week, which might be a Monday... We're actually going to be doing what we call uh, kind of a random Monday kind of thing, just to cheer you guys up. We're going to do some epic gameplay from just every game we play, because there's a lot of games we play outside of Clash and Boom, where you can't really put on our Clash channels because people might not want to see it. But guys, on a, on a Monday when there's nothing else to do, I'm sure you don't want to see the same old stuff. Sure, you want to see a couple episodes of some craziness, some zombie destruction or whatever. So we'll be playing some interesting games on there and letting you guys know what else we get into on the side. And yeah, hopefully you like it a lot. But as you can see right here, 100% insane. Great job, Chancester. Didn't even need to commentate because it was just that awesome. And of course, he did get about 900,000 loot with 5,000 dark, guys. That's epic. 5k dark, 27 trophies. Great raid, man. On to the next one. This one's actually really cool. It doesn't look hard, guys, but it is by a guy named Vision, my clan. He is attacking what looks like a Town Hall 8 here. I'm pretty positive. Yeah, it's a Town Hall 8. And it's got a million loot showing, guys. He is going to march. So, one million loot march. That is insane. You gotta love that, because that army force costs absolutely nothing at all. So, that's a pretty, pretty win-win scenario right there. If you can definitely get a million loot and win, that's cool. But he gets the 100% here. That's epic. So, let's see what he does here. His king is so overpowered compared to these defenses. I think that's what's going to be the key for this because the archers aren't going to be able to be hit because that king is just absorbing all the damage. And of course, there's a bunch of archers there that can't be hit by anything. They're wiping this town hall out. You see it's going down. It's like you've got like two seconds to lose. It's done. And he's got a ton of troops left, so he's going to drop the rest here. He's being smart. He's being real painful, which is good. The biggest mistake you can make out base like this, which is underpowered is to swarm it, because eventually your troops are going to go through a hole in the wall in front of a wizard tower, and even though those wizard towers are weak, if you have a ton of troops bunched up, they will destroy them all at one point or another, so you definitely don't want to be too, you know, gung ho and put them all in one place and think you're just going to wipe the base, because you might not. So he's being real smart about it, definitely spread his troops out nicely. As you can see, those barbarians did a good job also helping out taking some hits. This king is just going to town on that gold. He wants it all, guys. He's going to take it all. And he got 31 trophies for this and a million loot. So great job, man. Super epic. Let me know what you guys think of the on-screen, uh, I don't know what to call it, text I'm putting up. I'm trying some new filters and stuff, just playing around. Let me know which ones you guys like. Definitely trying to entertain myself with them. But anyway, here we are, Terminator 007. He's in my clan. He's also a YouTuber. Check him out. He's a cool guy. Definitely got some interesting series he's doing. And yeah, man, he's doing a good job here with this with this uh, Belinian army. As you guys see, he did a really good job of showing how you should do Belinians. You should always drop those minions right behind the balloons. Everyone makes the mistake of waiting way too long to drop your minions. And then they don't do as much damage as they could have because... It's just like hog, I mean, it's just like uh, giants with wizards behind it. You want those giants out there, but you want the wizards right behind them. So, it's the same idea. Drop those balloons and instantly, like, wait two seconds. Wait for them to basically get in range of all the defenses. And once the defenses are targeted and all the bombs come out of the ground or whatever, then make sure you drop those minions instantly right behind them so they can get cleaning up. Because look at this. he They're right behind the balloons the whole time, which is awesome. Normally, you'll see a base that has like minions all over the place and balloons that are super far ahead of them. And that's not what you want to see, guys. You want to see them just like this within like a couple centimeters of them on the screen. Now, of course, unfortunately, those balloons were not covering those minions as well as needed. But it's not going to take too much longer to destroy his base. He does have a spare minion out there going to work. 
So that's always good. He's got a couple minions on the north side. And these balloons are splitting into two. So that's pretty good. They're not going to be much of a help, I'm going to guess, because they are too slow right now. And there's enough minions left. And the minions should be able to do work here and win it for him. He's got six seconds, though. He drops the queen to help out. I'm, and he makes her invisible. He wants to get every bit of fighting force he can out there. And he gets it on the last second. 100%. 17 trophies. And, of course, 800,000 loot. 3,100 dark. And, guys, if you haven't already... Thanks for watching this. Subscribe to me. Subscribe to Clash Army. Go to this clan if you want to be part of the Never Back Down series. Maybe get a base review. But guys, as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.